Potash is one of the world's most important minerals and is used in agricultural and industrial processes. Potash is primarily comprised of potassium, which is the seventh most abundant element in the Earth's crust and is found in every cell of all plants and animals. Along with nitrogen and phosphate, potassium is one of the three main plant nutrients that make up fertilizer. Potassium, or potash, is called the regulator in crop production. Unlike other nutrients, potassium does not form compounds in plants, but remains free to regulate many essential processes, including enzyme activation, photosynthesis, water use efficiency, starch formation, and protein synthesis. Most potash reserves were formed hundreds of thousands of years ago, as ancient seas evaporated and left behind potassium salt deposits buried thousands of meters below the surface of the earth. Potash was first discovered in Saskatchewan during oil drilling in the 1940s. Geologists did further exploration and revealed that Saskatchewan has one of the largest and richest potash deposits in the world. In Saskatchewan, this underground sea of potash lies diagonally across the province's southern plain, sloping deeper into the earth from the northwest to the southeast. Several layers of potash are mined at depths of more than 1.7 kilometers beneath the surface. Every year, Mosaic produces more than 8.9 million metric tons of potash. That's more than 14% of the world's supply. Mosaic's Saskatchewan operations are not only significant in terms of size and production, but also consistently rank among the world's lowest cost producers, providing excellent value to Mosaic's customers. In addition to our large-scale potash mines in Saskatchewan, Mosaic operates potash mines in Carlsbad, New Mexico and Hersey, Michigan. In New Mexico, the Carlsbad operation mines two different types of ore and produces two main potash products, traditional KCL and KMAG, a branded specialty fertilizer containing potassium, sulfur, and magnesium. The ore bodies here are only 240 meters below the surface, and the deposits are not as thick as those found in Saskatchewan. At current production rates, Mosaic's mineral rights are sufficient to operate these mines for more than 100 years. Mosaic's Collinsay, Esterhazy and Carlsbad operations are conventional underground shaft mines. Stretching 18 kilometers wide and 30 kilometers long, the Esterhazy operation is the largest potash production facility in the world, containing well over 4,800 kilometers of mine shaft. It's like an underground city. Large mining machines equipped with rotating drill bits chew through the potash ore. The Collinsay mine uses two-rotor mining machines, while the Esterhazy mine uses both two-rotor and four-rotor machines. The Carlsbad mine uses a smaller rotary miner, operated by remote control. Of course, with hundreds of Mosaic employees working across thousands of kilometers of mine shaft, safety is of the utmost importance. We strive every day to ensure that every Mosaic employee returns home safely and our day-to-day -day mining operations reflect the relentless pursuit of an injury-free workplace. For example, to maintain a stable mining roof, each operation utilizes a technique called room and pillar mining. That means that the machine operators carve out large rooms in the potash deposits, but leave enough potash ore behind to act as pillars, safely supporting the tunnels created by the mining machines. Once the ore is cut, a series of conveyors transport the ore to be crushed. Then it is hoisted to the surface using huge potash elevators called skips. Skips can move at a rate of almost 1,100 meters per minute and at full capacity can move 36,500 metric tons of potash to the surface every day. At this point, the ore is a mixture of potash, clay and salt. To separate out the potash, the ore must go through a number of processes on the surface before it can be shipped to market. This is referred to as milling. 
The ore is crushed, screened, and then put into a brine solution made up of dissolved potash and salt. Through a series of washing and flotation processes, the potash is separated from the clay and salt. Then, to complete the milling operation, the potash is dried, sized, and graded. Each size or grade of potash has a different use. Unlike the Collinsay, Esterhazy, and Carlsbad operations, Mosaic's Bell Plain and Hersey facilities use a technique called solution mining to recover potash ore from deep underground. In fact, the Bell Plain operation has not only pioneered unique solution mining technologies, it is also the largest potash solution mine in the world. Here's how solution mining works. Directional drilling creates a series of cavities in the underground ore deposit. Hot salt water is then injected into those cavities, dissolving the potash formation. The salt water and potash mixture is then pumped up out of the deposit and to the plant for processing. The solution is processed through a series of evaporators and crystallizers, where the potash crystals are formed. The crystals are then dried and sifted through a series of special screens to ensure a consistent particle size. Another way to produce potash crystals is through the use of cooling ponds. The potash-rich solution is piped into outdoor ponds. As the solution cools, potash crystals form and drop to the bottom of the ponds. Then, a floating dredge is used to harvest the crystals and pump them back into the plant. Since Mother Nature does most of the work, this is a very energy-efficient and economical method of producing potash. Once the potash has met Mosaic's high grading standards and is separated for different applications, it's ready to ship. With almost 9 million metric tons of product to transport every year, shipping Mosaic potash to customers across the continent and around the world is an enormous task. Only one-third of Mosaic's potash remains in North America, where it's an important element in the growth of crops like corn and wheat. The remaining two-thirds of Mosaic's annual potash production is shipped to markets outside of North America, such as Brazil, China, and India. In those and other developing countries, population growth is encroaching on the available farmland, making fertilizers much more vital to sustained crop production. Which is why Mosaic is engaged in every phase of crop nutrition development, from the mining of resources to the production of crop nutrients and feed products for customers around the globe. Right now, at least one-third of the world's food supply is directly attributable to the use of fertilizers. It's estimated that by 2050, the world's population will exceed 9 billion people. That means there will be 3 billion more people to feed than there are today, and even less farmland to grow that food. In fact, if this apple were the earth, all the farmland available to feed the world would be just in this one small slice. And no matter how you slice it, that's not a lot of farmland to feed our whole planet. As populations continue to explode and arable land continues to shrink, one thing's clear. The world will continue to need more and more fertilizer to feed our growing population. With over 100 years of reserves, Mosaic will continue to be a major source of potash for decades to come, as we relentlessly pursue our worthy goals. To feed the world and nourish the communities in which we live and work. We are Mosaic, and we help the world grow the food it needs.